Well, I'm Asian, if that wasn't clear. I know, gay and Asian. That's a lot of diversity, right? Like, somebody needs to give me a scholarship quick. Like, my gosh. Um, one of the first things people want to know about me is what type of Asian I am. Do you Asian people get, do you guys get that? Yeah, I get that a lot of time. I, I, I understand the question, because there's a lot of different types of Asians. There's Korean, Filipino, Chinese. But there's a lot of different types of white people too, right? But I would never go up to a white person and be like, hey, so what type of white are you? <laughs> Scottish? That's so exotic. Tell me everything. I love kilts. I wear them as pajamas. Like, we don't, we don't say that, right? I'm not trying to call anyone out, though, because I definitely, when I meet other Asian people, I definitely want to know what type of Asian they are, for sure. Because I want to know if I can trust them. <laughs> I just triggered myself with that joke. <laughs> I'm Chinese, so there you go. You don't have to ask me after the show. Hey, Chinese. But here's the thing. I was born in Canada, and my mother was born in Canada, so um, I'm like second generation Canadian. I don't know anything about China. I really don't. Like, I wasn't raised on the culture. I don't speak any of the language. I've never been to China, and I also don't care. I know, that's bad. Everyone gets so mad when I say, they're like, oh, that is so sad. Are you a self-hating Asian? Why wouldn't you want to go to China? Why wouldn't you want to go to China and meet your family? And I'm like, because my family's in the Target over there. They're buying cat. Those are strangers. That's usually how that works, right? Just, I don't know those people. It's, but, um, so I, yeah, I don't know much about China. I, I I know little things. You know what I was? I was raised on Chinese food, though. Do you guys like Chinese food? Chinese food is delicious. We eat, we eat amazing things. We also eat disgusting things, but every culture does, so don't just put that on us, okay? I saw that judgment. But it's true. I once went into a Chinese restaurant. There was the worst smell. I was like, oh, what is that? That's not edible. It was like burning rubber or something. I was like, that cannot be edible. It turns out that smell was a snake. It was a snake cooking on a wok, just like coiled up, like frying in a pan, right? That's disgusting, right? You can't just put soy sauce on anything and call it a meal. So I got my deep fried bull testicles and I got the hell out of there. Cause there's a limit to what I will eat, you know? Oh, here, interesting fact that um, I've not experienced this, but my friend actually went to China. She told me this, is that in China, um, the toilets are actually like holes in the ground. You know, like we have seated toilets here. You know, you're nodding, you've been to China. Yeah, it's like they're holes in the ground and like, I guess you, you, like, you pull down your pants and you like squat over them and then you like hold your core, but like release to yourself. I imagine it would be very difficult. I don't know, I've never been, I don't know. Um, the reason I know this is because my friend went to China and um, she really had to go to the bathroom. She just wasn't used to it. It's hard to get used to, right? If you're not used to it, it's hard to get used to that, right? But she was in like a mall and she was like, well, I can't wait. You know, I have to go to the bathroom now. Like, and we all know malls, no matter where you are, just a little bit dirty. Public, bu public bathrooms in general, just a little moist, a little dirty around the side. And she's like, well, I have to go. I mean, I have to go. I have to go now, right? So she's like, okay, here I go. So she pulls down her pants and she squats over and she's like, <clears throat> ready, <clears throat> ready to go to the bathroom. And, <clears throat> and then she slips. <laughs> and she falls in the toilet and she just like, <laughs> she tries to save herself though by like holding onto the side, but she just misses and she scrapes her arm on the way down. It's just this like open wound, just like filling with liquids. <laughs> just, like, I'm not trying to gross you out. I'm just trying to say, if you ever go to China, make sure you have good grips on your shoes, okay? <laughs> I mean, if somebody from China came here and they saw our toilet, they'd be like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Do I step on this? Is this a table? What's this for? Like, what do I do? Perspective, you guys, perspective. There is one cultural thing that I, I will say is very important to me. And um, I, I don't know if everybody knows this, so I thought that I would write it into a song so that, um, people will know. And um, so listen up, you guys. It's very important. <clears throat> Walk into my house, I see you don't know that Up in here there are a couple of rules But 
but I don't see you doing anything right now. I guess you don't know, so let me tell you. If you walk into an Asian house, you'd better take off your shoes. Leave them neat and tidy, don't you pout? You'd better take off your shoes. And really, that's it. That's the song. But here's the thing, it's so important. But sometimes I stop inviting people over to my house because they keep forgetting. And I don't want to tell them anymore, you know? Serious, you guys. You can say that it's some kind of tradition. But it's for sanitary, that's what it's for. Cause you've been walking all over the city. You're dragging dog poo all over my floor. Like, I ya If you walk into an Asian house, you'd better take off your shoes. You know what I mean? Leave them neat and tidy, don't you pout, you better take off your shoes. So important, you guys. Seriously. And, and here's the other thing is I don't like to tell people that because like no matter how nicely you say it, you always feel like you're being a little condescending, you know? But you might think I'm being feisty. Actually, I'm asking nicely. You've been walking across the down, dragging dirt from the ground. Then you walk into my place. I just cleaned it. That's just great. I'm all like, wow, take them off right now. I have to always be explaining. Yes, I'm finally complaining. It's about damn time. Wear your socks. You'll be fine. But I just smell politely with Asian hospitality. Would you like a cup of tea? But first, take off your shoes, please. Take off your shoes if you want to come in Cause I don't know where you've been When you walk through the door <laughs> Do I need to say more? If you walk into an Asian house You'd better what? Take them off, baby Leave them neat and tidy Don't you pout, you better what? You gotta take off your shoes If you walk into an Asian house You'd better what? You got me singing, ay ya, leave a meat and tie it. Don't you pout, you'd better take off your shoes.